coordination between various organs and systems of the body is crucial to homeostasis or body stability. The cells form tissues which in turn form different organs. Organs further combine to form different systems. Each of these organ systems is specialized to perform specific functions and shows interactions and interdependency. For example, during physical exercise, the body demands more energy in the form of increased oxygen and nutrients supply to the muscles. The body achieves this by an increased rate of respiration which increases the heartbeat and blood flow to the muscles. This is also accompanied by the expulsion of wastes through renal excretion and sweating in order to regulate body temperature. The activities of all the organs return to normal when physical exercise comes to a stop. This is an example of coordination and integration among organs such as the lungs, heart, kidneys and skin that maintains homeostasis. The two systems in our body that maintain homeostasis are the neural system and the endocrine system. The neural system provides a network of point-to-point -point connections for quick coordination of nerve impulses. The endocrine system provides chemical integration through hormones. Sometimes it acts very quickly, while at other times it acts with a lag. All animals have a neural system that consists of highly specialized cells called neurons. These cells can perceive, receive and transmit different kinds of stimuli. Hence, neurons are called the structural and functional units of the neural system. Neural organization varies from lower invertebrates to vertebrates. For example, neurons are absent in sponges. The neural system of the hydra comprises a network of neurons. For example, flat worms have a ladder type neural system which is composed of nerve rings and nerve cords. They are interconnected by transverse connectives. The neural system of earthworms consists of circumpharyngeal nerve ring and a single solid ventral and ganglionated nerve cord. Insects have a better organized neural system. Starfish do not have a brain and its nerves are radially organized with a connecting ring in the center. All vertebrates have a well-developed neural system. However, the brain is the most complex and advanced in the primates, especially in human beings. Here, we'll discuss the human neural system in detail. The human neural system is divided into two parts, the central neural system or CNS and the peripheral neural system or PNS. The brain and the spinal cord form the central neural system. It is the site of information processing and control. The peripheral neural system comprises cranial and spinal nerves. It controls the voluntary functions of the body. The nerve fibers of peripheral nerves are of two types, afferent or sensory nerve fibers and efferent or motor nerve fibers. Afferent fibers conduct nerve impulses from the sense organs to the central nervous system. Efferent fibers conduct nerve impulses from the central nervous system to the involuntary organs, muscles and glands. The peripheral neural system can be further divided into the somatic neural system and the autonomic neural system. The function of the somatic neural system is to relay impulses from the central neural system 
to the skeletal muscles. The autonomic neural system controls involuntary functions such as heartbeat, peristalsis, etc. This is because the nerve fibers of the autonomic nervous system extend up to the visceral organs and smooth muscles of the body. The autonomic neural system is further classified into the sympathetic neural system and parasympathetic neural system. The sympathetic system comprises the neurons of the thoracic and lumbar regions. The parasympathetic system comprises the cranial and sacral neurons. Let's look at the structure and types of neurons now. A neuron is a branched nerve cell and is the longest cell in the body. The two main parts of a neuron are the cyton and nerve processes. The cyton is also called the soma or cell body. It contains granular cytoplasm, also called neuroplasm. The neuroplasm contains a large spherical nucleus, granular bodies called Nissel's granules, which help in protein synthesis, a large number of mitochondria to provide high energy for the conduction of impulses, and thread-like neurofibrils, which help in the conduction of impulses. Nerve processes are of two types, dendrons and axons. Dendrons can be one or more in number. Their fine branches are called dendrites. They transmit impulses towards the cell body. An axon is always single. It is covered by a plasma membrane called axolemma. The inner fluid of an axon is known as axoplasm. The distal branched end of an axon forms a knob-like swelling called a synaptic knob. The synaptic knob possesses synaptic vesicles, which contain chemicals called neurotransmitters. On the basis of the number of axons and dendrites, neurons are divided into three types, multipolar, bipolar and unipolar. Multipolar neurons have one axon and two or more dendrites and are found in the cerebral cortex. Bipolar neurons with one axon and one dendrite are found in the retina of the eye. Unipolar neurons have a cell body with one axon only and are found in the photoreceptor cells of the retina. Axons are of two types myelinated and non-myelinated. Myelinated nerve fibers are enclosed by Schwann cells which form a myelin sheath around the axon. The gaps between two adjacent myelin sheaths are called the nodes of Ranvier. These fibers are found in cranial and spinal nerves. Unmyelinated nerve fiber is enclosed by a Schwann cell that does not form a myelin sheath around the axon. Nodes of Ranvier are absent. These fibers are found in the autonomic and somatic neural systems. On the basis of the functions of neurons, they can be divided into three types, sensory, motor and association neurons. Sensory or afferent neurons are found in the sense organs. They receive impulses from receptors and direct them towards the central nervous system. Motor or efferent neurons are found in the central nervous system. For example, the ventral horn of the spinal cord. They carry impulses from the central nervous system to organs such as the muscles and glands. Association neurons which are also called interneurons or mixed neurons, are found in the central nervous system. 
For example, the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. They interlink the axon of a sensory neuron with the dendron of a motor neuron.